Hi, I am Patty Jo, and I am the Wisdom Life Coach coming to you from sunny Southwest Florida, sitting out in my backyard right now because it's a little more private and because it's just so beautiful outside. But I really wanted to talk to everybody about um, churches, the institution of the church. Um, I, if I start talking about churches, remember that I'm talking about churches in general, not a single person, not a single church, but we've all been hurt by church. I think there's a lot of people that's out there that's been hurt by church. And I, I noticed something that I've been studying for a couple of years now, and that's narcissism and the, and the narcissistic personality disorder. And it's really rampant throughout our whole culture. But everything that I've ever studied online about the narcissist and narcissism and the personality disorder, the cluster B thing, has been in relationship to, well, relationships. It's been, <laughs> you know, it's been spousal abuse or it's... Uh, um, in the relationship realm or and sometimes a little new agey stuff you know why why are you attracting these narcissists to you or your energy and all this stuff and I, I, it dawns on me that there's a lot of pain called in caused in churches and you think about it the church is a relationship so it's it's not it's not a, it's, it's not supposed to be a concert it's not supposed to be you going and sitting down in in an auditorium and staring at the back of somebody's head for two hours and then going home. Church is supposed to be a community of believers where they support and love each other. And if a pastor uh, or a leader, any leader in a church, uh, has, has the personality disorder, that's not going to happen. And so I really want to help people heal from that. I want to I want people to realize that this is happening, that this is happening to them and that it's not necessarily their fault. So I, I want to talk and do a little bit of groundwork about the narcissist personality disorder that I've been studying. I have a degree in psychology and in communication, and I just want to help people uh understand that it's not their fault. So when we're talking about personality disorder, the narcissistic personality disorder, we're talking about a person who has an extreme appetite for attention. That's how they happen to get into the pulpit a lot of times. Um, they're very jealous and possessive. They exaggerate the, the achievements or their closeness to God. You know, I heard from God personally and God wants me to do this and God does tell the shepherd, the pastor, the shepherd to do things and whatnot, but in this disorder, it's an exaggerated closeness. It's it, everything is, is, is just blown out of proportion. They also, once you get to know them, they are extremely sensitive to, to hurt. They are exploitive of others and they lack empathy. Believe it or not, they're up there and these shepherds, and while they are supposed to be there to help people and guide people, and we're going to talk about what a good shepherd is here in probably another video, but to these these folks are in the pulpit, and they're hurting people, and they're exploiting them, and because they're in a church, and because they're in a position of authority, they... Um, they, they take advantage of people and they enjoy that attention. So let's let's get healed from all that. Let's let's talk about it and find some forgiveness and let's just get healed and move on and find good relationships and find good churches and find good pastors 